Hi, I'm Jen. I've been a bovine veterinarian for five years. I love working with farmers, their families, and their cows. So many challenges, never a dull moment. Lately, Yoni's disease has caused problems in a few of my clients' herds. You've met one of them. Bob was having a hard time with Yoni's. He called me, and together we made a plan that he successfully used to control MAP. Bob is part of the Ontario Yoni's program, so he did a herd test to start. But as Bob learned the hard way, the silent spread of MAP makes it difficult to test for. So the real key to reducing Yoni's is preventing its spread. Bob and I looked at his management by doing a Yoni's risk assessment, a ramp, and then planned changes he could make. Bob is great because he's motivated to change. Others, not so much. Brings to mind another client of mine, Joe. When we did the ramp together, I could tell he was just saying what he figured I wanted to hear. Not surprisingly, he didn't do anything I suggested. <sighs> Even though I was pretty clear on the Yoni's risks, I looked for ways to motivate Joe and quickly realized my communication skills stunk. Much of my vet education focused on clinical skills. I didn't pick up much on communication skills. I'm determined to improve this. I never realized before, but my Yoni's message was the same for all my clients. I focused on the economic losses from Yoni's. I thought that would motivate them, but with the variety in farmer mindset, personalities, and learning styles, a one message fits all approach can't work. I learned that a tailored approach for each client is best. And it's not just what you say, it's how you say it. My biggest challenge, I talked too much. I was too quick to give answers. Mm -hmm. I wanted to teach, especially with the ramp. I just asked questions off the sheet. So I changed. I asked Joe to talk about his routine for a newborn calf and used his responses to fill in the questions about calf management. I got a more complete picture of what he really does this way. Now I use the ramp as a guide for conversation rather than a script. I try to focus on the producer's perspective to really listen and understand what it would feel like to be in his shoes. I try to be positive. I highlight what's being done well and make suggestions about areas to improve Yoni's prevention. Sometimes I relay what I've seen other producers do, so it's not just my ideas. Joe seems to be more receptive to this. I asked more open-ended questions too, ones that don't lead to a yes-no answer. This gets folks sharing their mindset, frustrations, and Yoni's questions. Joe thought my recommendations were too expensive and time-consuming, but most of what I recommended only takes a few extra minutes. I needed to make my recommendations practical from his perspective and to ask him what he thought he could do. I mentioned the changes Bob had made, which turned out to be cheap and simple, but I think Joe needed to hear it from a producer. So I put him in touch with Bob to hear about his experience firsthand. Hmm. This seemed to motivate Joe. Speaking of Bob, he's had an immediate decrease in calf scours since he made his calf changes. Hearing they can get quick benefits like these really motivates my clients that don't think they have yonis. My new listening approach has shown me that some clients are motivated by the potential link between MAP and Crohn's disease, but others are more concerned about cow health or the good image of milk industry. I'm amazed by the range of opinions. These conversations have really opened my eyes. I'm building a stronger relationship with my clients too. I'm working with them on prevention. I'm showing I care about their cows and their farms, now and in the future. I encourage them to think long-term and to discuss their goals and problems with me. We're planning together. I've also started asking my clients how they want to receive new information. I learn best by talking things out. So I always gave recommendations verbally, but Joe said he'd prefer written information that he could read later and show to his son and employee, an opportunity to tailor my approach. Other clients said they'd prefer group meetings. So I got a group of clients together to see each other's farms and talk about their experiences. This has been very successful. I'm finding my role as a veterinarian is changing. I now work to filter and interpret all the information out there for my clients. I'm not just a technician. I'm a coach for on-farm change, a part of their farm's team, a Yoni's cheerleader. I used to think some farmers would never change, but it turns out what needed changing was me.